Welcome back. Well, the day has come to fix my DJI Mavic Mini drone. As you can see here, the rear uh, arm with the blade met its maker. So a couple weeks back in the woods, I took my drone up. It was misbehaving. There's something going on with the software. Uh, I wouldn't leave 50 meters from me, and then I couldn't get it back. It started flying on its own. As you can see in this clip here, uh, it flew away from me, and then it went, uh, got caught in the wind, and then went down in the trees. And thankfully, more damage wasn't done. It's just this... Uh, this rear arm right here is damaged, but let's take a look at the part that I need to fix today. So this is the DJI Mavic Mini, not the Mini 2, but the, just the first original Mavic Mini. And as you can see here, what happened was, and I've taken out a couple of screws here so that you can see. What you can see here, there's this little piece right here, and I've taken out some screws so you can kind of see things a bit better. But this little piece fits right in there, uh, was damaged, causing the arm uh, to be not functional. Uh, the other thing that went on this was just the tips of the blades. So you can see uh, the blades need fixing as well. And this is what a normal um, arm looks like on the DJI Mavic Mini. So you can see that little piece right there. So it's a relatively easy fix. And Ali Express to the rescue, I just uh, I picked up some replacement parts for the front and the back. But today we're going to be replacing uh, the rear arm axis. So of course, you know, the other part of this repair is the software. So the software I updated as soon as I got home. I couldn't update it at the cabin uh, simply because I just don't have the um, internet access there that I'd like to be able to do that. So I upgraded the software because there's obviously a bug in there that was not allowing it to, um, you know, to respond like it should to my controllers. Let's take a look at this repair now. It shouldn't take me all that long. So as mentioned earlier, I took out these screws right here. and You'll want like a little baggie to kind of put them in. Uh, so I removed the screws right there. And uh, also um, if there's any other little screws right in here. They were removed as well. Next, what you have to do is you have to access these wires, and the wires go straight into the body of the machine. So what you need to do then uh, as a next step is uh, unscrew the casing off the top here. Once the casing is off, use a guitar pick or some other little screwdriver to take the top casing off of the unit like so, and you can see all the innards of the DJI Mavic Mini. Now you'll need to remove these wires with a soldering iron uh, to take those off and then you can have the arm released so that you can do your proper repair of this part right here. And now the rear arm is free and you can just pull out the wires gently so you have access to the entire arm back here. And I'm remove the old part right here, you can see how broken it is. Let's just take a look at what the new part looks like. Ah, there you go. There's all those little pieces there that just shredded off as it hit the tree. So uh, yeah, we'll get rid of this part. We don't need it anymore. So feed your new part through the wires there and you're going to secure it back onto the body of the DJI Mavic Mini in just a second with your little screwdriver and boom, there it is fully attached and feed the wires gently back up towards the electronic motherboard there. And as you can see, I uh, have a couple of screws to install here. You just have to rotate the arm to get that in. And the next step, of course, is to solder the wires back onto the unit there in the orders of red, black, and white. It really takes a few seconds to do. It's not that hard. And once all those little wires are back in place, put the case back on and there's four little screws to put back in there and you're ready to go. And for good measure, I replaced all of the blades. So, uh, you know, this should fly really, really well. All right, let's give it a try. Well, that flight was absolutely perfect. I'm really happy with it. I'm so glad I replaced all the blades um, on the drone. Um, it just makes it fly so much better. The blades get all chipped up and especially very damaged during this accident. And replacing the rear uh, axis there on the shaft was just 
thank goodness that's all the problem was. Um, it was very cheap to replace, didn't take me a whole lot of time to do this. So, and don't forget to upgrade your software. Probably why I had this incident was because my software wasn't updated, I glitched out, and then we had the accident with the drone. So, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comments, but it's a super easy repair. You can do this at home and uh, you get your little drone back up in the air in no time. Have a great week. We'll see you in the next video.